Hello, hello, beautiful Patreon members. Shout out to all of you gorgeous butterflies out there. Today is the new moon. Actually, sorry, it's the full moon in Cancer today. Yes, this is the first full moon of the decade. And so there's an amazing energy. Amazing energy. Try to find some time to commune and get out and get in Luna's energy. All right. I wanted to pull an oracle message from the book today. So I set my intentions and I flipped. And for those of you that have the book, Manifesting Your Masterpiece, I flipped over to page 206, which is July the 17th. Okay. Which is an eight. The 206 is an eight and the July the 17th is an eight. So this is a wonderful, wonderful time for you. Okay. If you're, if you're witnessing this message, let me read it. It's talking about being present. Present moment awareness is a major key to shifting your consciousness and moving into a state of bliss or joy with ease. Striving to be present in the moment makes you more mindful, allows you to enjoy peace, and encourages an abundance mentality. People don't realize that sometimes the easiest way to manifest or are by doing the simplest things. Being in the present moment rivals gratitude. Those are some of the most basic ways, some of the easiest and most profound ways to actually raise your vibration and to place yourself in the vortex of an abundance mentality. So don't underestimate the gravity that learning to be more present with whatever you are doing, whether you are washing the dishes, whether you are eating, tasting each morsel, being grateful for the food as it nourishes your body or whether you're standing outside of your door and trying to figure out what the weather is gonna be like today. I have my door open. It's beautiful here in Atlanta in the middle of January. I have my whole door open. It's just gorgeous outside today. But whatever it is you're doing, be present with it. <sighs> Many say that, present, that the present moment is one of the most challenging places to arrive at despite the reality that we are already there. So like we're in the present moment. Right now I'm talking to you. But are we really in the moment? Are we really experiencing the moment or is our mind a million other places? This is because our ego mind loves to ruminate about the past or give us anxiety about the future. Whenever we are in the past or in the future, we lose track of the reality of our existence and we diminish our personal power. We also contract or become tense, with, which further separates us from our creative life force, which happens when we are relaxed. So literally, the reason why the present moment is so important is because in the present moment, you are relaxed, which means you are in the flow. Your yin and your yang energies are balanced. You are in a state of harmony. You're in a state of peace. The minute you move out of that and begin to go into the past, Okay, or you begin to go into the future. Typically, when we go into the past, it's due to sorrow, regret, some pining away of, about something that we needed to have long let go. And when we're in the future, literally, it's a modern form of insanity because we're concerned about something that hasn't even happened yet. Or we're planning for something that right now doesn't need our attention. The present moment needs our attention. So that tension that causes you to contract takes you right out of the vortex. The present moment is where true relaxation occurs. Be in the moment more often. It is here where you are conscious of your thoughts, aware of the details of what activity you happen to be engaged in, and open to the flow of life and your inner guidance. All right. So the question today for you is where in your life can you exercise more presence? Where in your life? Can you exercise more presence? So this is the message that I'm sharing with you for today. And this is for my, my lovely Patreon members. But it's also, I think I'm going to also put this on YouTube uh, to share with the greater, wider community since it is a full moon message. And I'll pull another message that is specifically um, tying maybe into something else that we're dealing with on the channel. Because we are getting ready to start um uh our book shares and discussions okay i've got four excellent books which we're going to dive into 
the science of being, the Kabbalion, um, the seven laws of spiritual success. And what is the fourth one? There's another fourth one, which is another one of my favorite books. It's also a financial book um, by Susie Orman. So we're going to be diving in to all of that content in addition to getting ready to gear up for our 11-day money challenge so that you can go out there and get those coins. So let's get it in. Let's get it in, everybody. I'm sending out lots of love to you. For those of you who may watch this message and are not a Patreon member, go ahead and, and, and go to the website and become a Patreon member. Um, the website information uh, for patreon.com slash Tunisia Ali is right in the description. And remember, it's all about getting clear. It's about up-leveling our mindsets. It's about clearing and healing our energetic and our emotional blocks, things that are that are causing um, obstacles to our abundance. And it's about manifesting the glory of God that is within us. You are a divine being, okay? You are already abundant. You just need to reconnect to your true nature. You just need to reconnect to that abundance. And so Take this as an opportunity to travel the spiritual frequency with other like minds and people who are on the journey towards awakening the deeper spiritual self within and aligning themselves with cosmic will, the divine, and all of the under other wonderful blessings that you must have around you to keep you motivated, to give you a sense of community and support, and to help celebrate your triumphs and your wins and to be there for you um, as a source of inspiration and motivation and gaining clarity along the way as you continue this sojourn. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, close out for now, but I'm wishing you a wonderful day and I'm wishing and hoping that you'll be able to get in some of that gorgeous, gorgeous moon energy today. Sending you lots of love. I got it.